What's up, YouTube? It's Todd Horst here with Tasty Tracker. Uh, I had to redub the audio because I lost it the first time I uploaded it, so my lips won't match my words. Anyway, uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how I got assigned on SMH and what I'm doing to close that position out. It's rather easy, so it's nothing you need to be concerned about. This happened on one of my other accounts um, that's that I'm not doing alerts on, but. I'll walk you through the process here. So right now you can see the 100 shares that were assigned for SMH. That's the uh, in place of the leg that I had sold. And then you can see the other leg is the um, other half the spread that I bought. Um, so again, pa sorry for any pauses. Basically in Tasty Work, what you do is you select both legs and I'll actually go over and show you the emails. Here's the first email I received from Tasty Works saying the SMH 144 puts were assigned. Uh, and then they do give you a link to a video. Each broker will either send you a video or instructions, or you can contact the trade desk to uh, have them either help you or do the, to close out the position for you. So it's really definitely not a big deal. The, way it works is if your account is big enough then you'll just see the deduction in your account and the shares but since my account isn't large enough to handle it uh, in this account um, what actually happens is that I got a margin call so here's the second email saying that I owe $12,000 so if you're not familiar with the process that's uh, pretty frightening but all that means is that I have till 323 which is uh, today to close out this position or deposit the $12,000 into the account. Um, and so I, I don't have 12,000 sitting around, so I'm just going to close that out. Okay, so back over on uh, Tastyworks, I select the other, uh, the other leg and the 100 shares, and then I hit close position. Okay, and then you want to put it at the uh, strike that you had bought. So um, mine's 139 and you'll see the prices jump up and down. Um, in theory you could potentially get more or less than 139. You shouldn't get too much less because that's the point of having a defined risk spread. Um, but sometimes it does take a couple pennies to fill or in other words a couple dollars. I think Tastyworks rec recommends up to uh, five dollars. Um, so you shouldn't have to go um, too far down uh, and you'll stay pretty close to what you originally defined the risk your risk as so you can see if I put in a, a price that's pretty far away from what I should be um, it will complain there and say that it's an unfavorable price uh, if I put at 138 if I put it at 140 um, then it's it's fine with that because I'd be getting $100 extra. Of course, that's not realistic. So if I put it at 139, which is the other leg that I sold it at, then I should be able to click next here. And I think I'm just talking about how it, it shows that I could get more, um, but realistically, I, I wouldn't. So I'm just going to put it at 139 flat. Okay, and it says uh, realized loss is uh, 1622. You can ignore that. It's still going to be the same loss that I had originally defined it as. So I'll let this work for a couple minutes. Um, and uh, now that I'm doing this in hindsight, I know that I didn't get filled right at 139. Um, but typically that is the case where uh, you might have to come down a penny or two. Um, but it is worth putting it right at 139 or whatever your purchase leg is to see if it gets filled. Just want to give it a couple seconds um, at least to work. Uh, see if it can find a buyer. Because I have other things to do, I'm going to uh, continually lower it here until we get filled. And I think I get filled on this one, which was 96. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so then I go into the trade history and see the um, 
filled positions and there it is so I did lose a couple extra bucks um, trying to o over and above what my defined risk was but in the end uh, that's not too bad and yeah as you can see um, it it stinks to get ma max loss but incidentally this is only the second assignment I've got during the whole virus situation um, so you know it, it's definitely uh, nothing that you shouldn't expect when you're selling that you have the p potential to get assigned um, but uh, yeah so one last thing is the account will show a weird value for a day or two and then everything will settle and it'll go back to what you would expect it to be that's it